What's going on YouTube? Alizio Fletcher abduction. Um, this was the this happened in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, she was a kindergarten teacher, 34 year old mother, and known as Liza to her loved one. She was abducted Friday while she was out for an early morning run. The Memphis Police Department is actually offering a fifty thousand dollar reward. Her family is and being uh, offered information leading to her whereabouts. Now, according to this timeline, right, in September 2nd at 4 a.m., Fletcher, she was an avid runner, actually qualified for the Boston Marathon. She went out for a run around 4 a.m. So she takes her usual route near the University of Memphis, according to authorities. Now, while running down a stretch of Central Avenue around 4.20 a.m., she was abducted and forced into a dark-colored GMC terrain. Now, according to an affidavit, investigators reviewed video surveillance from near 3876 Central Avenue, which showed the GMC terrain passing and then waiting for the victim to run by. The police say that a surveillance camera captured the same car in the area of the abduction 24 minutes before Elzio Fletcher was taken. All right. Now, the male was actually later identified as Cleota Abstin. Uh, right now, he's in police custody. Uh, the judge actually set his bond for $500,000. And um, they say he ran aggressively toward Fletcher and they forced him to the pass forced her into the passenger side of the SUV. Now, the reason why how they actually the Memphis Police Department was able to capture him and um, track him down is that they found they was able to find some uh, championship slides. All right. Champion slides. And um, they linked that. They put that in as the DNA uh, evidence and linked to Cleoto Epstein. OK. Uh, a little bit of history about Clito Epstein. Uh, back in 2001, he was actually charged for uh, aggravated uh, kidnapping as well. And uh, he actually served, he was supposed to serve 24 years. He was sentenced to 24 years in prison, but got out in 2020. Now, uh, going back to the GMC terrain, the court document sat in a nearby parking lot for four minutes with Alessia Fletcher inside before driving off. Moving forward. September 2nd at 6.45 a.m., court documents state that the resident was riding his bike on the Central Avenue and found the victim's cell phone as well as a pair of champion slides and sandals laying in the street in the same area. So the resident gave these items to one of Alicia Fletcher's uh, family members who then turned them over to the police. September 2nd, 7.45 a.m., MPD received two phone calls. So there's one from Fletcher's husband, Richard Fletcher III, who reported her missing. Actually did not come home from her run from one the University of Memphis. September 2nd afternoon that the department MPD was not aware of any connection between Fletcher's abductions. And that actually has been reports of the semester that some someone has been harassing members of the University of Memphis women's cross country team as they ran that area. But the champion uh, slides, uh, sandals, found a link to Cleoto Abstin. And which is Alessio Fletcher abduction. And right now he's not cooperating with investigators as usual, right? Uh, September 3rd on sa Saturday, 10.45 a.m., members of the U.S. Marshal Service located the GMC terrain um, in a parking lot in the 5700 block of Waterstone Oakway. This is where Abstin lives, according to the police, who then said that a male matching description of suspect was spotted. All right. So they took him to custody. Uh, Mario Abstin, which is his brother, told police that his brother was acting strange. Police also say that Alicia Fletcher suffered serious injury and left evidence of blood in the vehicle that the defendant cleaned. So moving on, September 4th, law enforcement officials were seen throughout Memphis on Sunday and they conducted searches uh, at various locations in the search for Alicia Fletcher, according to the Memphis Police Department. Uh, she's about five foot six, weigh about 137 pounds. And when I actually did, um, when I actually found out too, man, she used to a granddaughter of a billionaire. Actually, her um, grand, I believe her grandparents, whatever, they actually ended up um, owning a $3.2 billion industry, a hardware uh, company. Okay, that's actually linked to 143rd largest company, uh, according to the Forbes list. Uh, and she hears that. And I'm thinking this, too, from his criminal mindset. He like, OK, well, let me go ahead and, you know, this had to be well calculated. He abducted her. He probably 
Ain't no telling what he's doing to her, man. I just hope that she's still alive and that the authorities can get to her, man. She's not being tortured. But he probably just kidnapped her for money. And um, it's probably other people. He knows exactly where she is, obviously. But he's not cooperating with investigators. And he's probably like, hey, man, since you're linked to a billionaire, you know, revenue of $3.2 billion, all, you know, this is, a, a, like I said, a hardware company. It's known for making home improvement goods. And uh, in the city of Memphis and state of Tennessee, he probably won his share of the pie. He probably won like millions of dollars or close to a billion. And I think this will motivate him to go ahead and just abduct this woman or kidnap her. Because what what are the reason why would you kidnap just a regular, just a person in general? Like, it, you know, it has to have been some type of reason. And then we find finding out that she in her history, she's linked to a billion a billionaire, you know, her grandparents were a billionaire. So at the end of the day, man, she probably has some money, but it still doesn't condone what this man has done. So I uh, pray that the authorities, uh, they find a way and I'm working hard to get to the bottom of this. I know Richard Fletcher, the husband, he's probably can't really sleep at night, even her family in general. But I know him, you know, that's his wife and she's not ain't no telling like hey is my wife being malnourished she's getting beat like i don't even know where she is like so it, it ain't no telling man um you know you mess with another man's wife so you have to deal with that but i just want to talk about this because you know this is this is really crazy man you know uh, i just pray that she's she's all right um i was researching a little bit later too um they said um they found a body and on south memphis but they haven't confirmed if it was her or not they haven't you know they they don't know who, what it is but it was like near the area where she was abducted so we don't know exactly until we get more further information but that's all we have to say like comment subscribe share this video i hope they find her man and she return home safely i'm out deuces